This is another of those absolute monster that have no idea what a paragraph is. Look at this thing. It's a freaking mess. And I'm sure I'm going to hate what I'm going to read because like just by the title, I want to say yes. But, but I'll wait. I'll wait. Am I the asshole for yelling at my husband and mother-in-law and not letting them into the delivery room? My point there, you don't make a baby alone. So knowing that, God damn, if it's a moment that your husband wants to share with you, why would you kick him out? Is it because you are scared that you're going to shit yourself? Because it's totally natural. Like, let yourself shit yourself. It's fine. Oh, good reading. My, me, 25, uh, 29 female, husband, 32 male. And G. Oh, okay. That's a very weird start of sentence. Oh, she does not only not know how to make paragraph. That's going to be hard to read. They are having a baby girl. Recently, they had her. By recently, I mean literally last night. <laughs> and you're already on Am I the Asshole to Write Your Story? Good job, girl. I love your priorities. Uh, <laughs> A few weeks ago, I was invited to dinner at my mother's in-law's home. She told me she had something important to discuss, and I knew exactly what was coming. When I sat down, she, had, she held my hand and said, Me and G have talked, and we think it would be best if we... If I replace your mother in, delivery, in the delivery room. Honestly, why? I said I'm sorry, but my mother has already been invited, and I'm not comfortable not having her there. She started squeezing my head tighter, my hand tighter, saying... That it's not just up to me. Side note, my mother-in-law has never been the nicest to me. She would always make snide, snide remarks about my weight and skin color. I said no again and she said it is my choice as I am giving birth. Then like it went a little deeper and she was like, none of you come. That's fine. The, subjects, the subject was then dropped. But when we got home, my husband blew up at me saying... He has just as much a decision as me in this. Not at all, in fact. Like, if she has the opportunity to take two people and she does not take you and prefer to, to go for, like, one of your friends, I guess, like, that could be wrong. But if it's about her mother versus your mother, fuck you, dude. Your point of view there has no point. She's going to be the one suffering. I'm, yeah, I'm calling about what I was saying earlier. <laughs> um, Let's go. We wear... I disagree, it will be me giving birth and I need my mother there. True. Uh, he said fine and we both forgot about it. Yesterday I went into labor. First I called my husband as he was staying at his mother's. At the time then, after about an hour, I called my mother. She was shocked to hear from me and told me my husband said I didn't want her there. I told her that I do want her there and she came straight away. My husband got to the hospital about 20 minutes after my mother. My mother and when he got there, he had brought my mother-in-law. I completely lost it. I started yelling at him and scolding him for telling my mother not to come. Then he started shouting at me for not letting him bring his mother. After he has shouted at me for about five minutes, I told him to leave. I said I didn't want to see him or his mother ever again. Ever again. I'm still not sure if I meant what I said or not because of the stress put on my body to the bird. Yeah, like... Okay. Labor will stress you out like crazy. I cannot say that I lived it firsthand. I just had the chance to observe my wife giving birth. But I've heard story where people were basically threatening their significant other while they were giving birth. I don't know how common those are. But like... If she has a limit to two person inside the delivery room, those that make sense to have would be your husband or like the person with which you had the baby uh hopefully your husband not like your husband and the person with which you had the baby being two person two different person but like I, I you do you okay so in that kind of case what she said was rude but she's not the asshole in the story the the husband was actually a a, a, a jerk through that the mother-in-law for real i don't even know what you're trying to do there like there's a lot of stuff my mother-in-law's doing that I'm not okay with. And she has more place inside the delivery room while my wife is giving birth than my mother. This is not even a question. Like, 
my mother-in-law is, is way more racist than my mom is. But even taking that that bad part of her, you know, you will you will never have a better reason to have my mother than hers. So I don't understand what's happening in the mind of that man and that mother-in-law for their born of you to be so adamant, so like hard-headed about bringing the mother-in-law instead of the mother inside the delivery room. I don't... I can't fathom to understand, like... What... Is she a nurse? Like... Is the mother-in-law a nurse? Or like a... a, a we have a, a thing for that in English. We call that un, un sage femme. Uh, a, a... A wisdom woman. Like... Is she is she very specialized in that domain if she's not yeah she has nothing to do there but once again hey you just gave birth what the hell are you doing on am i the asshole the next night like God. maybe maybe she's all she's still stressed and she's looking for an answer so she, people will say not the asshole Viol he violated your trust during one of the most vulnerable moment of your life he made your feeling clear and he lied to you and tried to take away your support system during labor. His actions were disgusting and his mother should be ashamed of herself as well. And he shouted at you that you... Yeah, like... How can I tell you that? If there's a moment where you do not want to break... You know, not... It's not as simple as just... Leaving him. But clearly there's, there's an adult talk to have at the moment. I know what you're trying to say, but please, let's stop minimizing grown men's action by calling them boys. They are not boys, they are adult men. Saying they are boys significantly reduce the severity of their action and give them an out. An explanation for their action. It's not... It's not what we mean when we call them boy. But like... No, I, I love the reaction. The reaction she had may, might have gone over her head, but she was stressed, so it's fine. I mean, you were on Facebook the next night at the hospital. Okay, good enough, wife. Wife is telling me that this is normal. Oh, let's go. Okay. This one is super short. And sadly, depending on how long they've been together, am I the asshole for not wanting a joint account with my boyfriend? If they reach that age where they have, like, um, common responsibility and they have to buy stuff together, and they have to put money on the side for projects that they have to do together. Yeah. Like, unless unless you're not seeing yourself going further in the future. Personally, I feel like having a conjoint account with your significant other comes before being uh, engaged. If, hey, Dumpling, welcome aboard. Yeah, it comes before being engaged by a lot. And like, I know they are 22 and 24, but consider that, Kim. Um, if they've been together for four or six years and they are living here, let, let's read the, like, this is four sentence. Let's read that. Am I the asshole for not wanting a joint account with my boyfriend? I, 22 female, told my boyfriend, 24 male, that I didn't want a joint bank account. We split the bill evenly and distribute them between both bank accounts. However, I prefer to have separate accounts when it comes to spending our own leftover money. He told me that I'm selfish and gave the impression that of what's mine is his and vice versa. Okay, so I don't know how to say that. I don't have enough information to like really judge anything there. We don't, we really don't have enough. The whole concept of leftover money. I'll take, I'll take my, my economy teacher POV on the thing. Okay, let's go. I'm not, a, I'm not an economy teacher, but I got the basics and I was a, 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 a what's the name in English? A financial advisor for two years in my life. So, the leftover money should partly be put in an account so that they can have a good retirement later. If they start at 22 or 24, those dollars will go a very long way. So, just for that part, if this is what they would do with the uh, conjoint account, that would be a good place. For that, like, let's go and... I've, I mean, people could say not the asshole. Because... 
Some people are scared of how do you call that? Commitment. Okay. I have a coin a conjoint account with my wife, and I do not ask her to put as much as I put in there. Like it's not it's not about who puts the most. It's about having something if you have to if you have some bad luck that happens in your life. You should have, actually, no matter what, like if it can help you with that decision, at least three accounts, if possible, four accounts. First thing. But like, there is the thing, Kim, like nobody told much there in between the two. So you should have four bank accounts. One bank account that is yours, one bank account that is your significant other's one, where your main money comes in, like your income comes in. A conjoint account, where both participate to make that grow up and you keep that for the bad lucks, you know, like you have to redo the the the, the ceiling. Uh, you have to change car, like big spendings that are not planned and that will profit the whole uh, family. Or, and, and then a fourth one, which is like that conjoint account for things that will be pure spendings. Example of that, um, me and my wife, we have a, an account that is specifically made for travel. So, like, if we want to travel, we put money on that. It can go in a negative, but we cannot, like, go and plan for the next travel before it's refilled. And that we put money in when we have some extra and we don't know what to do with that. Uh, the main conjoint account that we have, we put money in that weekly so that we have something to see the bad luck coming and not end up into shit because we, like... The car broke or because uh the electric panel broke like anything major you know oh so we don't have enough information to understand if any one of the two are the asshole um it's not clear it's really not clear depending how long they've been together this lane here could be either the best thing or the worst thing the part about calling her selfish honestly <laughs> You have what we call a shield thoughts, a, 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 a no, sorry, a, a, a thought shield, mental shield. Like basically, from the moment you start insulting someone, the person is not listening to you anymore. And just calling her selfish like this will clearly not make her change her mind. She's gonna lift up the shield and you do not have a conversation anymore. You have a monologue and you can expect it. Do not go the way you want, no matter what was the way you want. So, in that particular case, both are still wrong. We don't have enough information. And dumpling! How was the end of the year? Are you satisfied by your result? Have you succeeded everything you wanted to succeed in? We keep one for the last one. We kept, we kept one that might turn emotional.